Hello, I'm Gabriel Goldstein with Escape Room Text, and today I'm going to talk to you about the FX51D. It's our latest incarnation in the uh, read switch replacement uh, line of products that we, we make, and as we know, read switches suck. So, uh, what I have here is uh, what you may have seen before in our FX50 uh, series of products, where we have four, pro uh, four objects, four props, each with a magnet in it. And what we used to do was actually wire each of the uh, signals together uh, on the bottom here. And we'd actually run uh, four intelligent controllers and you'd wire them together in such a way that the Mac dock would then turn off or you'd have to wire them in series to turn them on to, uh, to actuate it. This version here has one uh, intelligent controller and a network of sensors. And we can actually put up to 16 sensors on a single network. So the way this one is set up right now is uh, basically we have uh, four props here. And you see the sensor is on, uh, it's programmed. And if I swap any other combination, it will not detect, it will not trigger. So that is just uh, differentiating four different uh, prop objects with using network and hall sensors. Uh, you can see you can just kind of come over here, swap around. If that's your new solution, there's a little button under here, and it learns the new solution. It's pretty simple. You see we have a daisy chained uh, set, set of uh, cables with sensors. You can use a 6 inches or 12 inches. The controller here is uh, smart enough to output either a active high signal, active low signal, a pulse high, pulse low, uh, set on or set off. Uh, it can also drive a mag lock directly so you don't have to worry about uh, extra relays and other things to uh, drive your uh, drive your, your, uh, your, your game logic. So besides just doing normal prop placements, we can also do prop rotation. So we have these two props here and these here, and these are actually configured in such a way where we can differentiate their rotation. So I'll program in this position. And now you'll watch that as I rotate each one of these or remove it, the prop becomes unsolved. So I have that one there, I have that one there, and then you can have this one removed or that one removed. So another really kind of cool thing is you may have seen our indestructible knob. What we do is we take the same sensor board and we actually can put it underneath here and the same sensor board and we now have a prop that is detecting a particular narrow range of rotation. So the way all this works is underneath here you have a set of dip switches here which we set to either reset the device, program in a zero calibration method, you can set the output mode as well as the configuration mode for whether you want linear or rotational sensing. Uh, each of these devices here, have, the sensors also have a dip switch on them where you can set whether you want each one to be rotational or distance sensing. Uh, as well as an address so you can daisy chain them all together. So that is an introduction to our FX51D. The D stands for digital. That is our uh, read switch replacement device. Obviously these can do a lot more than just the normal read switch can do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please feel free to write me. Go to the website www.escaperoomtext.com. Thank you very much. Good luck.